Hey y'all, it's Lindsay, and I want to share a fuel pull version of pseudo sous vide eggs with you. I have done a couple of different videos about pseudo sous vide eggs in my instant pot in a few months prior to now, and I remember talking about wanting to make these a fuel pull version. That way we could have them as a protein source in an E setting, which is an energized setting or a high carb, low fat situation for trim healthy mamas. So I've played around with this recipe for a little while and I think I have a winner here. Technically these pseudo sous vide egg bites are fuel pulls because there are less than five grams of fat and less than 10 grams of carbs per serving. And I think that this makes about two to three servings for this recipe. And I think I had it as a total of four and a half grams of fat, four grams of fat, possibly, possibly five for the entire recipe. All that's in this recipe are egg whites, a little bit of cottage cheese, a little bit of laughing cow light cheese, some turkey sausage, and some spinach, along with like your regular seasonings that you would normally want to put into anything. I think I did salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder, I think. I can't quite remember. But this is not the first batch that I've made. <laughs> I filmed the first batch I made, and we ate them so quickly that I had to go back and make more, and then we ate all of those before I could show them to you. <laughs> so we wound up, this is probably my fourth round, fourth batch of making these over the past week and a half, and they are delicious. We love these, and put these with a couple of pieces of Ezekiel toast or homemade sourdough bread, and smear that with a little bit of slim belly jelly or all fruit jelly spread or something to that effect. And this is a rockin' e-meal. It's a fantastic protein source. And I said this in my Wellness Wednesday prior to now, I think it was week 49, that you pair a th like three of these with a couple of slices of toast and you've got like a super fast e-breakfast where you've got your protein, you can have that savory eggs and toast kind of experience, and it takes like, I don't know, three minutes. Did I just say that it was super quick? Anyway, it's an e-breakfast that's savory that you don't stand over the skillet for. Three minutes and you've got breakfast. I love it, I love it. And a little bit of Cholula goes a long way too. Gotta have that Cholula. Let me show you how I made these. First things first, let's get our egg mixture made up. I'm going to use one cup of egg whites along with two wedges of the Laughing Cow Light cheese. Each one has one and a half grams of fat. And then I'm going to use one quarter cup of the cottage cheese. This is low fat cottage cheese and for one quarter cup it has a little bit less than one gram of fat. I'm also adding in some onion powder, salt, and pepper and I'll blend this up really well. I'm going to set that aside in the fridge while I work on my sausage. I am using the Jenny O turkey sausage this go around which has approximately six grams of fat per two ounce serving. And for my recipe, I wrote that we needed two ounces of this ground turkey. However, I did not use near that much. And I also drained this really well on some paper towels to pull as much of that fat away from the meat as possible. So I don't believe it had that much fat in it. Pearl and Serene also talk about taking your meat and rinsing it under hot water after you have fully cooked it to rinse away a lot of that excess fat. But given the fact that it's turkey, it's got a significantly lower fat content than most ground meats. Next up, we're going to get the Instant Pot ready to go. I'm gonna chop up about a handful of this spinach. I won't use that much spinach, but I will save it for the next batch of egg bites that I make. And the egg mold that I'm gonna be using today is actually that purple silicone um, seven cavity, I think it's a baby food container actually. I bought it on Amazon for a really great price and I had or it came in a two pack and that works beautifully. I'm gonna spray the inside with a little bit of olive oil spray, not too much, and then pour in 
some of the egg mixture to about a third of the um, a third of the volume of each cavity. Next, I'm going to add a little sprinkle of sausage, about a teaspoon worth. And then top it off with some spinach. The spinach will float to the top of each of these egg bites, and if that's not um, aesthetically pleasing to you, you can definitely put the spinach in first, and then use the sausage to kind of hold it down and prevent it from floating up to the top. And then I filled the rest of each of those cavities with the egg mixture, covered it in some aluminum foil, and put it into my Instant Pot. I added in one cup of water, which was already in the bottom of my, of my pot. And then I set it for a high pressure um, for 12 minutes. I did a quick pressure release. Subsequent times that I've made this recipe, I've let it just do a natural pressure release and they turn out fully cooked both times. It's just a matter of whether or not I was standing there watching the timer or in the middle of doing other things. Now it's time to take a look at these egg bites and they're gorgeous. I am gonna let these sit on the counter for about 15 minutes before I pop them out onto a plate. If you leave these in the refrigerator overnight, they get super dense and smooth and velvety, and then just microwave them in the morning for a breakfast, or you can go ahead and just eat them right now as is. The other thing I like about that silicone mold is it's super quick to wash up compared to my jars. All right, here we are. I'm ready to try them. Mm -hmm. And I've said it before in my previous sous vide videos, um, letting these set up in the refrigerator overnight really helps them to become even more dense. So I think that's like a step you don't want to miss out on if you're feeling like the texture is a little bit off. Jared actually ate the last of the previous batch, and as I was coming downstairs to go and heat them up, he was standing there eating the eggs, and I was like, I hope you didn't eat all of those, and he was like, there's half of one left. <laughs> I was like, I don't think half of one is going to cut it for me, but I'll make more. It'll be fine. So that's my recipe for these fuel pull version of pseudo sous vide egg bites. I hope that you will give them a try, and make them in your next food prep so that you can have a really quick e-breakfast that's nice and savory. Let me know if you try these down in the comments below and what kind of add-ins you would like to try out for your fuel pull egg bites and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!